So what are the sources of, of radiation? Just to, to briefly go over, over those, right? Because I already have mentioned to you that um, you know, we, we see quite a bit of radiation exposure just from natural background. So the average person receives about 620 millirams uh, per year. 50% of that is background, and 50% of that is man-made. And, and the man-made radiation is almost exclusively from medical sources. And in medical sources, CT is the major contributor to that. As a matter of fact, 50% of the man-made exposure per, uh, approximately is from CT. So of the exposure the population sees, right, 25% of the total radiation exposure the population sees is from CT. Half of it natural occurring, half of it medical, and half of that medical half is CT, 25% from CT. So where, is that, where are the natural sources? Well, some of it's from the soil, right? Some of it's for, from radon and thoron. Radon, unfortunately, when it decays, gives off an alpha particle, right? We, we don't worry a whole lot about alpha particles because they are so massive, right? They have two protons and two neutrons, and they have plus two charge that, frankly, if someone were shooting a beam of alpha particles at you, if you held up a piece of paper, it would stop those alpha particles. But unfortunately, those get liberated into the air. And when we inhale that air, right, they can then end up landing on the surface, the lining of the lungs and those kind of things. So that's how our dose tends to, tends to occur, occur from those. And unfortunately, in people in certain parts of the country, right, in their basements, uh, there's some radon gas that's liberated through there, and, uh, and people end up getting exposed as that decays and gives off those alpha particles. Uh, there's some extraterrestrial component, right? 5% of it comes from extraterrestrial. 5% uh, or so comes from the food chain, uh, potassium. So anybody who eats bananas, uh, you're exposing yourself to some potassium-40 there. So what about the man-made? About 50%, as I mentioned, about half of, half of that's coming from CT. Nuclear medicine's the next big player, interventional, and then radiography, fluoro, a smaller uh, proportion. And then there's a small amount of other, industrial, occupational, consumer goods kind of thing. And here's a nice chart uh, that kind of breaks down some of, some of the sources. So look, the background from radon and thoron, right, is really the only thing that's bigger than CT here. But I want to make one point about this portion of this, and that is, yes, there is some variation in that. You know, if you decide to live in Colorado instead of living uh, at sea level, your exposure to naturally occurring radiation is higher uh, than it is. But, but this portion, the 50% that's medical, is, is, has a very different distribution. And, in the days of HIPAA, I can't, ask, I can't ask this question anymore, but I used to always ask something like, you know, how many people in the room had a CT scan this past year? Okay, because when you look at the radiation dose uh, seen um, by the population, it's around on the order of every person in the country getting one CT a year. That's, that's what the medical dis, uh, dose is. A and yet, in the room, there would be maybe two or three people who would raise their hand and had a CT scan. And as radiologists, we've all been in the rating room where we've pulled up the patient who's gotten their, you know, sixth renal stone protocol CT of, of the year kind of thing, right? So there's a very unequal distribution of the medical sources of radiation. I think I mentioned all of these things before, just checking through there to make sure you've got, the, got those. Yes, and I, I just, I mentioned this too, right? This um, 6.2 millisieverts, that's approximately the amount, this is the amount that we get from medical uh, on average. That's the approximately the amount of an abdomen pelvis CT. So like I said, if you, if you took all the medical and you uniformly distributed it across the entire population, it would kind of be the equivalent of everybody getting an abdomen pelvis 